Let's see what we got to discover today. You're kind of unit, dude. Woo! It's like an ATM machine. Oh, well, let's see what we got to discover today. I picked up a unit with a pool table, so I brought some help. Oh, you know what? How about you do the heavy work, and I'll, I'll do the hard part. Yeah. All right. American Pool Table Company. That's eh, probably like four or five hundred. Oh wow! Looks like a girl would like to go shopping. Coach, fifty bucks right there. Graphite, fiberglass, a couple hundred dollars in pool sticks. Motorcycle boots, fifty dollar bill right there. Some kind of British shoes here. I'm gonna say they're 30, 40 bucks right there. I don't know, what is that? Some kind of service card or something? Some little storage. I think I'll have to get this checked out. And I think there's gonna be a five hundred dollars worth of stuff in there, another thousand bucks in here, so I think this is gonna be a, a good little home run for what we paid for it. I found an airplane service cart, so I'm heading to MotoArt, a shop that specializes in this kind of stuff. Well, you got yourself a, a galley cart. A galley car. And yeah, this is off of a commercial aircraft. Okay. Uh, you know, probably like a 737. What would I be able to get for this? You know, someone has obviously spent the time on this, and um, it, it looks nice. If you go the extra step, put the shelves in, put the block on it, you know, you probably get 1,200 bucks for this. I just upgraded my profit from coach to first class. I'm just going to roll on out of here. All right, take care. <laughs> Look at this unit. There's nothing but money in here. Casey and I got this unit for $1,300, and it's filled with good man stuff. Nice bike. What is that, like 100 bucks in the store? Yeah, 150 Oh, my god. Is it heavy? Yep. That's an easy 150 bucks. Tell me mind games don't work. That's 600 bucks right there. This freaking unit, everything has to be heavy. <sighs> what is that? I have no idea what this is, but this looks expensive. <sighs> Poly light made in Australia. High intensity light, you know what that means, right? Laser equipment. This is like CSI stuff. Oh my god, for dead bodies? What if there's a dead body in the fridge? Just see what's in there. <laughs> Stop it, you freaked me out. OK, it's safe. It's kind of heavy. <laughs> Just a helmet. That's really weird. There's a pool table on the other side. That's easy, not 150 bucks. I'm going to be conservative. The stuff that I see, it's over $2,000 easily, and it might even be $2,500. Let's go meet Don Johnson. We're here at CSULA Forensic Science Center to meet Don Johnson. Hopefully, he can help us solve the value of our polylight tester. Hi, are you Don? Yes. Let's have a look. Hey, you're the professional. Go ahead. Oh, this is an interesting find, no doubt about it. To be honest, I didn't even know what it was. Let's take it out. You know what it is? Yes. It's a forensic light source that produces light of different colors for the examination of evidence. So here's a mystery we need to solve. What's it worth? I would place the value of this unit at $2,500. Really? Yes. Oh. Well, that's cool. I got a feeling that this is a good locker. There's probably a couple hundred bucks alone on this rack. Viagra. It is. It's Viagra. Holy. Your kind of unit, dude. This case, I'll get 50 bucks. Locking briefcase on wheels. That looks like a big Louis Vuitton bag. Look at that thing. It is a Louis Vuitton. What? I kid you not, dude. Look at that. Probably about a thousand. No way, dude. No way. Full of a Rolex. Hot damn, dude. This could be seven to 10 grand and up. Uh, I just think I found a Rolex jewelry box. What? This is getting too good. What is that? La Vida? La Vida? This is for straightening your nose. I wouldn't even put that on I'll my face. I guarantee you, dude. I would. You get really freaking tired. I just pray to God that you're right. I don't want to know what it's for. I really don't. I don't. I'm starting to think maybe it's a marital aid. And you're putting it on your face. Let's go get this checked out. This is it. I think this Blue Vita is a fancy marital aid. So we're taking it to a specialist in sexual therapy to find out. Do you live together? No. 
And do you have a good relationship? Actually, this is my father. His mom said he's my son. So, you told me on the phone that you found something. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's called a Fluvida, and it's used as a marital aid, otherwise known as a sex toy. Can I say it, please? Yeah. Because it's from the 20s and 30s, and because they don't make Fluvida anymore, I would start somewhere between three and 500. And nice. shoot for more. Very nice. This right here is the main reason I bought this room, and it seems to be in awesome condition. There's $500. This right here I also noticed. Come on, baby, be cool. Woo! Now, this is vintage. Really, really beautiful piece. Some diamonds on the side, $200. Some more stuff here. Got a cool little deer, 10 bucks. Man, look at that. Ah! 25 bucks. Come kiss it, don't you? So awesome. Oh, check this out. A bank. Tell it's old. There's stuff in here. Man, there could be gold or diamonds in here. I need somebody who can open this for me. I got places to be, rooms to see. Let me take my bank and get the H E double L out of here. Antique hardware locksmith must be here. Man, I'm hoping the locksmith I found can crack the safe open so I can get to the treasures inside. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. You must be Mr. Ivy. Ivy, yeah, you uh, close. Got an iron box I want you to check out. All right, that's a uh, mechanical bank. I open it. Oh, let's see. That much money in there, but you have some coins. Damn, no diamonds or gold? What happened to them? You all, you know what? You really strike on this. Would you like to know about the price? Yeah, I want to know about the price. All the mechanic inside. I would have to say this is $2,000. Yeah! Yes, man, you did it. There's a lot of money in there, watch. We just paid $375 for a locker full of adult diapers. And we're gonna clean up. Look at that, it's like an ATM machine. Let me give you a lesson in business, okay? Now, I already looked these up online really quick on my phone. 40 bucks a box online, okay? That's the cheapest venue. Brand new. Four bags per box. 40 bucks the whole box? 40 bucks for a set of four. You got $120 right here. Okay. What do I pay for the unit? $375? So watch this. You keep track. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Another 40 bucks. I wanna know how many boxes we have, but this goes like. Oh my God. One, two, three, four in the back that I can see. That's over 150 boxes in there. That's a load of money. Well, right here in the front is 15 or so dog collars, $15, good bag. There's a lot of brand new stuff in here. I saw this box. Oh, look at that. Woo! Oh, cash. When I said there's tons of $1 stuff in here, I meant it. I mean, knows his business. I'm gonna sell this two dollars and make three dollars. Watch me. Right here, phone chargers, earbuds, pepper, everything brand new. It's gotta be another hundred bucks in there. At least another hundred bags. At fifteen bucks is at least fifteen hundred bucks. Another thousand dollars with the bags and boxes on this side. I don't have to do anything but dust it off and sell it. Whoa! Ugh. Check it out. Looks like a merry-go-round horsey to me. Yeah, it do got a hole in it. Ugh. Look at those eyes. Those eyes are like glowing, like they can see me or something. Woo, get the flies off me, get the flies off me. Woo. The merry-go-rounds today are much, much bigger. You look like the size when I was a kid, so are you worth anything? That's what we gotta find out. Hopefully, this is old. Looks like the place. I'm taking my carousel horse, Mr. Ed, to see carousel horse designer, Mr. Ed Roth. Mr. Ed? Hello, you must be Ivy. Yes, I am. Glad you're able to. Make the time to see me and him. If, uh, we take it to the bench and take a look. All right. Let's put it here first. So what you think? It looks like it was probably on a small portable carousel, probably in Europe. It looks German, early 1900s. So that's definitely antique. Yeah, very old. The mouth reins here, it's really chewed up. That's from a lot of wear and tear. These are normal things you find wrong with a horse. Now, those eyes are what I really like. It's like it's looking at me. The eyes are cool, great eyes. Nice uh, shape here, the form is good. And that's what makes me think it's an antique. What's the value of this horse? Well, it's a rare piece, a lot of charm. We know it's old. Uh, Valuable? The, the value, my opinion is, it would be worth 2,500 bucks. <laughs> That's good news, huh? It's great. Yeah! Hear me 
I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!